What about the notion of um, Latinos are too wedded to the Democratic Party, hence they are taken for granted uh, and uh, their opportunities within it are, are lesser than they might be, it goes the argument, if they were to be more Latinos going Republican and having uh, the, the community in that sense having a presence, significant presence in both of those parties. That is a fact and that's a, a, a something that has been taken advantage of by people like George Pataki when he ran for governor the third time. Um, you know, a lot of Latino discontent. Um, leaders of the Democratic Party have to be reminded of that. You want to win elections? You need the Latino community. And if you want to continue to win elections, you have to respond to the Latino community. But who's going to assert that demand? Not some amorphous community, but the leaders of that community have to assert that demand. Asserting that demand is never pretty, and sometimes it doesn't make you popular with party officials and leading government officials. But the demand must be asserted. What about the, the view that a, a Democrat has never seen a program that they won't buy or spend money on? You know, there is something to the argument when people say uh, Democrats respond to a lot of special interests. You know, uh, this interest and that interest that always wants more money. Look, I think we've got to be realistic and say everybody can't have more because you have to raise taxes. Now, I don't have an issue with raising taxes if it's going to be spent on something that gives us value. If it's spent on something that gives us no value, let me give you an example of that. Upstate prisons that are populated to the tune of 15%. Excuse me? Why are we paying for this? Um, well, we're paying for this because we've got to give some of these guys upstate jobs. I'm sorry. This is not a job creation program, crime and punishment. Um, there are other things like that that we've just got to be very smart about. Um, try to look after the things that really matter, like a good education, like our infrastructure, like uh, uh, police and fire and sanitation, the things the government was created to do, um, job training and job opportunities, smart economic development and not trying to toss money at something that really doesn't produce a job or give somebody an ability to earn a livelihood permanently going forward. One of the questions I have uh, about the uh, Latino community specifically relates to the relative standing of Puerto Ricanos in New York, which for the longest time, and still a, the majority of mm -hmm. Latinos in New York, although many of them are moving out of the city. Uh, recent economic data uh, shows that the more recent immigrants, Dominicans, uh, Mexicans, Central Americans, in many respects are doing better, relatively speaking, than Puerto Ricanos in terms of income, educational achievement, and so on and so forth. What do you make of that? I've seen the same numbers. Seems to me only marginally better. We're all in the same canoe. But if we're talking about people who only started arriving 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, Puerto Ricanos have been in this town in numbers since the end of World War II. And God bless, you know, that they're going to college, going to graduate school, uh, working 18 hours a day in their uncle's bodega uh, to try to make ends meet and pay off a usurious loan mm -hmm. to get that business in the first place, uh, risking their lives in livery cabs uh, or, or doing whatever work comes along just to keep your family together. Um, I think those are things that, are, that have to be celebrated. Maybe one last question. You ran for mayor. Uh, you certainly had the credentials to run. You lost. Uh, and <clears throat> as you look back on it now, where you've had the benefit of a considerable time passed since then, uh, what, if any, regrets do you have about the way that turned out? Uh, my only small regret is wish I had won. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, but no regrets about running the campaign the way I ran it. I wanted to talk about the middle class. I wanted to talk about poor people. I wanted to talk about education and housing, uh, things I thought were important. Um, and if it added something to the discourse, I'm glad about that. Um, I tried to win, worked as hard as I could. 
Um, and I hope, you know, I got some letters after that uh -huh. from, um, from young people who had said, even though you lost, you made me think about some things or you made me want to get into public service. I've got to tell you, David, um, that's terrific. But the best thing about my life now and looking at my past life in retrospect is I can get on a bus and subway right now. And people will tell you what they think, uh -huh. especially Latinos, all the time. <laughs> and they're telling you? They're telling me you did all right. And that's okay. I like that. Mm -hmm.